Hi, this is Craig Valentine, and this is the evolution of 21st century ab training. Focus isn't on crunching, it's not on spinal flexion anymore, and it's not on bicycle crunches and all that type of stuff. I'm going to show you six different exercises that we should be doing in our programs now. The way that we should be training our abs today is for what's called stabilization and for resisting rotation. So I'm going to show you a couple exercises in here that will still help you build your six pack abs, but safer and help you reduce the incidence of low back pain while still giving you that classic abdominal exercise workout feeling that you all want to have after you train your abs. So the first exercise in the evolution of this training is a simple plank exercise. It's not the most exciting exercise in the world, but it needs to be done and mastered, especially by beginners and especially by people who are at risk of low back pain. So the plank exercise, you're just gonna be in a straight line, abs braced, and hold that position. Your abs are braced as if someone's gonna punch you in the stomach, breathe normal, and you should be able to work up to at least 60 seconds, preferably 90 seconds or even two full minutes holding that perfect position, that plank position with your abs braced. And you're gonna feel that from your lower ab area up to your upper ab area. Everything in here is gonna be working during that plank. Now the next exercise is called the side plank or side bridge. And you're gonna hold that same straight line position with the work being done in your abdominals on the underside, also a little bit of your back, low back helping out and being tensed in this position, holding that body in a straight line and bridging up, keeping your hips up and your hips forward. Now obviously when you do that exercise, you're going to do both sides. The evolution from that exercise is to then move on and be able to do the plank with your elbows on the ball. This is a much more difficult exercise. and. Men's Health reported this exercise works your abs 30% harder than a regular plank. So when I hold that position, the more I move that ball and my elbows away from me, the harder it is. But it's also very difficult to main that, maintain that straight position. So if I move out, it's a much harder exercise. But I have to work much harder and it's more advanced. So if you're a beginner, master the plank and side plank first then move on to the plank with your elbows on the ball. After that exercise, I like to do something called a stability ball jackknife. And so in this exercise, you're gonna have your feet on the ball and your hands on the floor in a push-up position, your elbows on a bench, body in a straight line, brace like a plank, and then tuck your knees up to your chest and back out. So that's it for that exercise. Bring your knees up to your chest while maintaining that plank position. Then the next exercise is a classic abdominal exercise effect in terms of making your abs sore the next day. It's called a stability ball rollout, and it's very similar to using an ab wheel, like the infomercial gadget that you get. So in this exercise, you're gonna have your knees on a mat or a towel, your hands on the ball, and you're gonna roll out, stretching, body in a straight line and contract to come back up. So stretch and contract. Nice and slow on the way out, nice and strong on the way in. So as you've seen so far, we're not doing any crunching. We're really focusing on stabilization and making our abs work hard, but also building lots of endurance. Now the final exercise is going to be resisting rotation. So I talked about the start, we want to have stabilization and resisting rotation as our focus in our ab training now rather than the crunches and all the rotations. So we're actually doing quite the opposite of what we used to do. But this is going to help us build our six pack. We're still going to get six pack abs doing this type of training. 
with much lower risk of hurting our low back. So in this exercise, we're going to take the plank and side plank and put it all into one together into one exercise called a plank rotation and maintain our body in a straight line while we, make, while we shift from position to position. So we're going to start side plank, side bridge, and then keeping our body straight line here, resisting rotation. We are going to switch positions down into a regular plank and then switch again up to side bridge and then back down nice and slow not rotating at the hips but rotating the entire body up and just alternating positions but without hip rotation so that's a very tough exercise to do but that works your obliques in a much more effective and safer manner than doing hundreds and hundreds of cross crunches and all that type of stuff, which really is a general waste of time because it's not going to give you the total body benefits of doing this type of abdominal training. I'm Craig Ballantyne.